Please adhere to YouTube selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behavior shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professional. Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video with your boy Savvy G. Today, I'm gonna be talking about traveling with weed. Whether that be flour itself, or whether you're traveling with just maybe a gram or two of concentrates, it's always gonna be risky business flying with weed. But throughout this video, I'm gonna be touching base on everything that I did on my first time ever flying with weed, and everything that I researched in order to make sure that I was taking every cautious step when doing that, that way I don't get sent to prison for any time being because we all we, no one wants to be in prison for smoking weed or at least traveling with weed all right ladies and gentlemen but throughout this video I'm gonna be talking about every rule tip and trick that I know when it comes down to traveling with weed so let's go ahead and start talking about the very first time that I actually did travel with weed this was back in I believe 2019 it was during the summer season and I was flying all the way from California to Atlanta Georgia to visit some family members over there and you know me at the time that was actually around the start of my YouTube career and I, I, I just told myself I was like bro it would literally make for a very very great video if I were to take a cartridge or two with me smoke it over there because at the time I didn't really see too many videos or any videos at all of people actually traveling with any type of weed whatsoever so I was like you know what I'm gonna take the risk I'm gonna be one of the very first people to ever make a full-on YouTube video on how it's like to travel across the state with weed. What ended up happening and how I got things through was that I ended up just bringing two full cartridges, right? I believe it was actually two half gram cartridges. I We were staying for a couple of days, so I figured, you know what, man? I'm probably going to be hella anxious. I'm definitely going to have to bring more than just one half gram cart because I know I'm probably going to be flying through these suckers. So what ended up happening, I ended up doing a lot of research before actually getting on the plane and before actually going to the airport airport itself and pretty much what I came to conclusion and what I came to find was that you can travel with weed it just depends on where you're going all right ladies and gentlemen and what state you're actually leaving from so me being from California and flying out of California it is legal here so you're allowed to fly out with up to a certain amount of grams a certain amount of ounces I believe if you do have your medical rec card and there is no problem with that the problem is is if you're gonna be flying to a state where it is illegal let's say you're gonna be flying to like a southern state or something like that and you're flying out from California you might get through the first part but when you go and fly in to one of those other illegal states you do run the chance of getting checked up on by TSA so that's why it's very very important to check what states are actually fully legal whether that be medically or recreationally that way you're not really pushing back Boundaries. I mean, we've all seen these different types of stories of people flying with cartridges and then they get imprisoned and it's really not a good time, right, ladies and gentlemen? So you really want to be careful of what states you're going to, what countries you're going to, because a lot of other people are not as lenient as people are in states like such as me in California. Other things that I started to research aside from what legal states there are inside of the United States was other people's experience. Right, so I started going through reddit posts I got I started going through anything that I could really find any forums whatsoever And there was really not many stories But I did find a few and people were pretty much saying that TSA agents don't really trip if you're bringing maybe like let's say a gram or two of weed Maybe up to an ounce or so one or two gram cartridges What they're really looking for to be specific is like really condensed packaging somewhat sort of like a bomb You know and they're also looking looking for other lethal weapons that can potentially harm anybody else in that airport but they're really not looking specifically for people with weed all right so that was just that kind of just like eased my mind a little bit just knowing that whenever I was going through the TSA line that I wasn't they weren't going to be tripping about me just for having a gram cartridge or two and that it was just going to be somewhat of a breeze right so what I ended up doing was that I literally just I know this is kind of fucked bro because my girl would have ended up 
getting in trouble if we ended up getting in trouble anyways. But what I ended up doing was that I put the cartridges in her makeup bag because it kind of blended in with everything that she had in there. And I heard that that was just the easiest thing to do. But my girl was a straight G. She was like, you know what? Just go ahead and put it in there. I really don't care. Let's just go ahead and get through this, all right? So we ended up doing that. We got through TSA with ease. We didn't get questioned, not even a single bit. And it was as simple as that. But you have to take into consideration that I was only bringing a like two half gram carts. So it really wasn't anything crazy, right? I really do feel like the people who are going to end up getting checked are the ones that are bringing a shit ton of weed. I'm talking about the people who are trying to bring one, two, three, four ounces. Those are the people who are going to be getting checked up on. But if you are bringing only maybe one, two, three, four gram carts, maybe some hash raws in your Puffco Peak, I really don't think that people are going to be questioning you at all. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is not me condoning or promoting the fly with people flying with weed. This is literally just giving my own personal story and what I experienced the first time around. So after we got through TSA, literally we just got on our flight. We were waiting just a little bit before we actually took off took off and then your boy was straight literally nothing happened i never got questioned once i literally went into the bathroom and i ended up taking like i'm not saying that i freaking took a full-on blinker but your boy took a pretty big hit because i was starting to get that flying anxiety i believe it was like one of my first times ever if not my first time ever flying i don't remember exactly too sure and it was just scaring the shit out of me and having a pen on deck was literally what was keeping me alive right ladies and gentlemen so that right there was were my, was my own personal story of what I experienced the first time around when I was flying with weed. Now, like I said, I do not promote or condone this. This is just my own personal story because I don't want you guys doing this. And then you guys end up getting caught. You end up getting in trouble and you were like, yo, Sebi G told me that it was fine. No, I did not. All right. This is just my own personal story and what I've researched so far. So aside from that, what I touched base on in the beginning, which was number one, you definitely want to be checking what state you're going to be flying to, what country you're going to be flying to, and what their rules and regulations are when it comes down to flying in with weed. So once you figure out what state you're going to be flying to and make sure that everything's fine and cool with that, you really do want to make sure that you're bringing the legal limit, guys. You don't want to be pushing the boundaries because if you start pushing the boundaries, that's when things start getting iffy. Like I said, here in California, you're allowed to fly out with, I believe, I, I don't know if it's like an ounce of flour and maybe like 14 grams of concentrate, but you're, you're allowed to fly out with a very good amount and you do not want to be pushing those boundaries because before you even hop on the plane, they can still see that you're going to be flying with weed and if they see that you're carrying carrying more than the legal limit, that's when you're going to start getting in trouble and shit is not going to be looking good for you. So obviously when it comes down to flying with weed in itself, it's going to be a very difficult thing to fly with. And when it comes down to cartridges, even concentrates themselves, it's not going to be a hassle whatsoever because it doesn't reek at all. So when it comes down to the flower and this, I've never flown with flower before. So this is just based off of what I've heard, but I've heard the best way to go about it is literally just to keep it in its original container. If you got it from a dispensary or if you have some loose flower, you definitely are going to want to double double tie it, double zip it up, double ziplock vacuum seal that shit, that way it's not smelling at all. Because most definitely if other people on the plane can smell it or other people around the airport, they're gonna complain about it, they're gonna bring out the dogs, they're gonna make this big old ordeal about it, and you're probably not gonna be able to get on your flight, all right, ladies and gentlemen. So there's a lot of things to be cautious about, but if you are being cautious about that, there's really nothing to worry about. If you are following the rules and regulations, there's no way in hell that you're gonna end up getting some prison time, right? Yeah, so those are the pretty much important things that you do want to check up on before flying with any type of weed. You want to make sure that the state that you're going to be flying to or the country that you're going to be flying to, it permits it. And then when you get there, you definitely want to make, or before you get there, you want to make sure that you're carrying within the legal limit. If you are doing those two things, then you're, you're good to go. There's absolutely no way in hell, as long as you're not on the fucking plane smoking it, there's no way in hell that they can do anything about it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So that right there were my own little tips and tricks in my story of what it comes down to and what are the rules and regulations when flying with weed. 
very soon. I think this year I am gonna be taking another trip. So I will be making a full on like vlog version of this because this is just a sit down and talk type video. But I will be doing a vlog version of this where I'm traveling and I will give you guys like a, a pretty much POV of what it's like traveling with weed. So with all that being said, those are pretty much the rules and regulations guys like that you have to follow in order for everything to be good. And yeah, other than that, you really have nothing to worry about, all right? So if you guys enjoyed today's quick little video, do your boy one last favor by leaving a fat like, leave a comment down below, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.